We continue to preview the 2024 college football season. Our stop today is Winfield, Kansas, as we visit with Brad Griffin, who is the head football coach for the Southwestern Mound Builders. Coach, let's start with last season quickly. Eight and three after a couple of nine and two years. It's a new look KCAC with divisional play. Uh, you all swept through crossover play against the, the Bissell. Kessinger division proved to be a little bit tougher. Two and three in division play. Tight games all the way around, but uh, it, it's a uh, it's a new look. It's a different feel. Yeah, um, it, last year was you know a little bit different than um, obviously the years before, and so um, you know I kind of see it being again. It's going to be tough. I mean, even you know we we had a great start to the season last year. Um, I would imagine that it's going to be tough uh, on the other side as well. Um, you know, from I go all the way back when I started here in 15 is just the improvement of our conference um to now is just it's um you know night and day i mean it's every weekend you better show up and be ready to play and um the conference has just gotten so much tougher and obviously uh, on our side it's 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 pretty difficult right now so um yeah but we're excited for the season looking ahead then as you all had 42 signees coming in recruited particularly well in Kansas and Oklahoma, your proximity there from on the southern Kansas side of the Oklahoma border, uh, being able to pick up a lot of strong players there in both those states and the spring game as well. Tell us a little bit about your spring. Yeah, spring's gone or, or went uh, really well um, as far as, you know, I think we got what we wanted um, and accomplished um, with recruiting. And uh, we've signed a few more since then, but um, but overall it's been, a, it looks like a great group of, uh, of young players coming in. I mean, We've, uh, you know, spring went well. We got uh, a lot of reps for guys that have been in the program for a while, but just haven't had a lot of playing time on on Saturdays just because we've been a pretty veteran team. Um, and we're still pretty old for the most part. We got a lot of, of players that have played a lot, but uh, we're going to see some new faces for sure this fall, uh, particularly on defense. We a lot of, lost quite a few defensive players, um, just graduation and, guys uh you know moving on and and starting there you know with COVID it was kind of cool having around for another year but eventually reality set in and they had to to go and you know go on and find um you know a new chapter in their lives so uh but spring was went well recruiting's gone um you know just as what we've expected for the most part and um you know here we're in the about the, the final stretch of the summer getting ready to to fire things up here soon it's, it's really not that far away. And, and we mentioned just a little bit before coming on the air, it comes it comes quickly at this point in time. So I, I definitely want to ask some questions while uh, before you get into camp. I mean, there, there are some answers that are probably a little bit easier than others. Let's talk about offense first. Braden Howell comes back. That's, uh, I would hope uh, and, and imagine, a fairly easy answer there. He had a great season last season. He's done well for you more than 2,100 passing yards. I think one of the things that stands out to me, better than 61% completion percentage, very accurate. Talk a little bit about your offense. Yeah, um, I, Braden, um, you know, if I think if he stays healthy, um, potentially we could win a few more games. Um, he's definitely, um, you know, a, a good player at that position, at, at quarterback. And we all know if you got somebody there that's pretty, pretty good and you see it at all levels, you have a chance to, to be successful. So, um, and we've, we've got a couple guys that's, that's pushing him, which I think um, will help us. Um, if, if you've followed us in the past, we've, we've played a few quarterbacks over the last two or three years. So it helps to have some guys there. And, um, you know, I guess we just kind of roll through the offense a little bit up, um, I don't know if I'll say a bunch of names, but we do have um, our entire backfield is back, uh, including Braden and then all of our running backs. Um, those guys were kind of, um, you know, uh, next man up in that in that area last year. We, we kind of rotated through some guys, and um, so we're excited to have all those guys back. And then at receiver, I think we'll, we'll be pretty good as well. We, we did lose Andre Jones and Zion Kenner. Those were both uh, really good players for us over the last two or three years, but – um, we we do have um, uh, a couple guys back, and Josh has and Matt Holth Matt Holthus is, and and we've um, uh, recruited a few guys as there as well. But um, the, the question always is up front, you know, what, where will we be there? And uh, we return, uh, I believe, three of our 
maybe four of our five starters. Aaron Garcia is an All American. He'll he'll be gone. He's he's finally graduated. Uh, not in a good, not in a bad way. There, he's <laughs> a heck of a player for two time All American. Um, so we'll miss him. But um, you know, we're for the most part we're intact there, and we've been pretty decent up front. So um, I don't know the number, but I think we we returned you know um, maybe seven or eight starters there on offense, and I think we have a chance to be be pretty good there. We're visiting now with Brad Griffin from Southwestern in Winfield, Kansas. Coach Griffin heading into his 10th season with the program. Uh, Coach, on defense, uh, again, as you mentioned a little bit earlier, a number of players to replace there. One of those coming back, Grayshon Flowers, is coming back in that linebacker position, forced three fumbles last year, among other things. Tell us a little bit about uh, who we might see on defense. Yeah, Dre's um, been a great player over the last two years here. And, um you know, he's got another year or two left, and so we're excited uh, that he's back. But, yeah, we've he's our only starting uh, linebacker that's back from our, our four that started for us last year. The, the other three graduated, and, um, you know, Josh Carter and Cam Cornelius, and um, those guys were great players for us. And so we are feel good about, um, you know, the young guys that we have at that group. And uh, so we're – you know, excited to see some new faces, but yeah, we'll, we'll look a little different as far as personnel. Um, no Darren Hicks, no Shane Rodriguez up front. Those guys have been stellar players for us. Uh, we do return to Carden Hardman. He He's a heck of a player and um, he'll probably be the leader for us up front. And, and then the back end, um, Oh, we got Diego Stubbs is going to be returning for us. He was a starting safety for us, but I believe everybody else will be new. Um, you know, maybe rotated in a few guys last year, but um, so we definitely three or four starters back on defense. So we're going to have some new new faces and uh, scheme wise, Coach Strong does a heck of a job, just like Coach Nelson does on offense. So um, you know, I'm I'm excited to see those guys develop some new players out there. And, um, you know, it changes okay at times. It's a little it's a little scary, but. Um, if we've done a good job in recruiting and, and guys buying into what we feel like is important in our program, then uh, hopefully we'll continue to, to be successful. The fans just, just need to buy a program, right, to, to especially the first week or two at home. Yeah, get for sure. To, for get sure. New names with, with numbers. Uh, special teams-wise, well, maybe this is – at least you have a couple returning for sure that you know about. Uh, had two kickers last year that saw time for you, both of them freshmen, both of them coming back in Fashioner and Grant. Yeah, um, yeah. Preston and, and Corbin did a great job kicking last year, and they had a great spring competing. And so, um, you know, one of those guys probably going to separate themselves a little bit, I, I'd imagine. But um, they support each other, and um, you know, I, I feel pretty good about where we're at there in the kicking game. The season gets underway in August, final day of August, a Saturday there for KCAC play, August thirty first, and you all go on the road at Ottawa to take on a team, made it to the playoffs last season, back home. First home game is September 7th. That's the next Saturday against Avila. And then, of course, crossover play, divisional play begins after a bye week on October 19th as you welcome friends into town. Yes, sir, yes. Um, yeah, well, um, Ottawa's going to be, a, I mean, like I said earlier, and when we start off, it's going to be tough every week. But opening up with Ottawa is going to be definitely a challenge. If they've got a lot of great players back and, Coach Davis has done a great job with that program and getting them moving in the right direction. So uh, definitely a tough challenge on the road at their place. Um, And then, yeah, you get through the crossover games and um, friends is just, you know, coach has done the same thing he did at Bethel. Um, We we saw coming. We knew it wasn't going to take him long. And um, year two was, you know, when won nine games and, uh, we went over there and didn't play very well last year, and, and they got after us. So I know our kids will be excited, but a long ways between now and then. But uh, we know um, starting off conference play, that's that's going to be a tough game. Well, we look forward to, to following you all uh, again this year. Uh, Coach Brad Griffin for the Southwestern Mound Builders, thank you so much for taking time with us today. We will follow the Builders this, this fall coming up, and, and we're looking forward to seeing you all on the field once again. Thank you very much for taking time with us. You bet. I appreciate it. And I appreciate the coverage for small college football as well. 